Uh, my name is Dave Cedar. I'm a neurointensivist. Uh, my story of hope concerns a 50-something-year-old Jamaican gentleman committed uh, with a brainstem stroke to the intensive care unit in Maine, far from home. Uh, I came in on Monday morning to find him uh, unresponsive, and uh, I saw his neuroimaging. I asked the team if they thought he might be locked in based on the location of his uh, infarct, and uh, the question was met with a response, how would we know that? So it didn't take too long to establish that he was in fact conscious and able to make volitional movements up and down with his eyes and move his left shoulder a little bit, or his right shoulder. Uh, the long and short of the story is that he had been prognosticated already by neurology and several intensive care physicians uh, to that he was not going to recover and he would always either be comatose or locked in. Uh, we were able to make contact with his family in Jamaica who said that under no circumstances would we be withdrawing life support. And so he underwent a trach and a peg and I had the pleasure over the next two weeks of watching him recover significant motor function in three of his four extremities. Uh, he became known as a wild man at rehab who drove his motorized wheelchair into things on purpose sometimes. Uh, he got his feeding tube out, was able to eat and speak clearly, and basically went on to have uh, moderate disability, but to have a, a decent quality of life uh, and to have emerged from his coma or locked-in state, whatever you want to call it, uh, in, in fairly good condition.